The universe is a vast and mysterious expanse that encompasses everything we know and experience. It is the totality of all matter, energy, space, and time. As far as we know, the universe began with the Big Bang approximately 13.8 billion years ago. This cosmic event marked the rapid expansion of space and the birth of all known physical laws. The universe is unimaginably large, stretching over billions of light years. It contains countless galaxies, each made up of billions or even trillions of stars, along with various celestial objects such as planets, asteroids, comets, and black holes. Our own galaxy, the Milky Way, is just one among billions. Despite its immense size, the universe is constantly evolving. Galaxies move and collide, stars are born and die, and new structures form over cosmic timescales. Scientists have been studying the universe for centuries, and our understanding has grown through observations, experiments, and theoretical models. One of the most fascinating concepts in cosmology is the idea of dark matter and dark energy. These elusive substances, which cannot be directly detected, are believed to make up the majority of the universe's mass and energy. They play a crucial role in the evolution and dynamics of the cosmos, influencing the formation of galaxies and the overall expansion of the universe. The universe is also governed by fundamental forces such as gravity, electromagnetism, and the strong and weak nuclear forces. These forces dictate how matter and energy interact on both the cosmic and quantum scales, shaping the structure and behavior of the universe at every level. Throughout history, humans have looked up at the night sky with a sense of wonder and curiosity. The study of the universe has not only deepened our understanding of the cosmos, but also raised profound philosophical and existential questions about our place in the grand scheme of things. As our exploration of space continues, through missions to other planets, telescopes observing distant galaxies, and experiments probing the fundamental nature of the universe, we hope to unravel our secrets. The universe remains an endless source of fascination, pushing the boundaries of our knowledge and inspiring us to continue exploring its vastness. Thank you for watching. Please like and share this video.
Black holes conceal celestial objects contrary to their name. Black holes are not truly black. They represent regions in space where gravity's pull is so intense that even light, the fastest entity in the universe, cannot escape. As a result, black holes are deemed invisible. Despite their inability to be observed directly, we can infer their existence through various methods based on their characteristics, which we will explore further in this article. For centuries, scientists have grappled with unraveling the identity of black holes. In 1916, Carl Schwarzschild discovered the first modern solution of general relativity that described a black hole. However, it was not until David Finkelstein's publication in 1958 that it was interpreted as a region of space from which nothing can escape. The formation of black holes Black holes are born from the remnants of massive stars. Stars with a mass greater than three times that of our Sun have the potential to form a black hole. Stars begin their life as hydrogen atoms, collapsing from immense gas clouds due to their own gravitational force. Through nuclear fusion in their core, hydrogen atoms combine to form helium, generating heat and radiation that counterbalance gravity's pull. A delicate equilibrium between these opposing forces is required for a star to survive. In the core, helium fusion can further progress to heavier elements such as carbon, oxygen, neon, silicon, magnesium, sulfur, and iron. However, iron cannot undergo fusion, leading to the cessation of radiation and heat generation. With the internal pushing force absent, the balance is disrupted, causing the star to collapse under its own gravity. Within a fraction of a second, the core becomes densely packed, merging protons and electrons to form neutrons. The core's temperature soars to billions of degrees, resulting in a supernova explosion. The leftover core material can then form either a neutron star or a black hole, depending on the mass of the original star. The size spectrum of black holes Black holes exist in various sizes, categorized as follows. Primordial, miniature, these are the smallest type of black holes, with sizes comparable to a single atom but possessing the mass of a large mountain. Stellar, stellar black holes are the most common medium-sized black holes. Their mass can be up to 20 times greater than that of the Sun, fitting within a sphere with a diameter of approximately 10 miles. Intermediate, this category includes black holes that are larger than stellar black holes but smaller than supermassive black holes. Supermassive, supermassive black holes are the largest known black holes. Their mass can exceed that of a million suns combined, and their diameter is comparable to the size of our solar system. It is widely believed that every large galaxy harbors a supermassive black hole at its core. Understanding black hole types There are two primary types of black holes, non-rotating and rotating black holes. Schwarzschild, non-rotating black hole, this type of black hole often referred to as a Schwarzschild black hole, features a singularity and an event horizon. The singularity represents the center where all the star's mass is concentrated, characterized by infinite density according to general relativity. The event horizon, on the other hand, denotes the boundary beyond which matter and energy cannot escape the gravitational pull. Kerr, rotating black hole, rotating black holes, known as Kerr black holes, possess the intriguing characteristic of rotation. This rotation introduces additional components that facilitate the study and comprehension of black holes, making their discovery relatively easier. Components of a rotating black hole include Singularity, located at the center. The singularity represents the point of infinite density where all matter and energy. Here's the continuation of the previous response. Singularity, located at the center. The singularity represents the point of infinite density where all matter and energy are concentrated. In a rotating black hole, the singularity takes the form of a rotating ring or disc-shaped singularity, known as a ring singularity or a Kerr singularity. Ergosphere, surrounding the rotating black hole, there is a region called the ergosphere. In this region, spacetime is dragged along with the rotation of the black hole. As a result, objects within the ergosphere are forced to rotate in the same direction as the black hole. The ergosphere plays a crucial role in extracting energy from the black hole through a process called the Penrose process. Event horizon, similar to the non-rotating black hole, the rotating black hole also has an event horizon. It is the boundary beyond which nothing, including light, can escape the gravitational pull of the black hole. 
However, the event horizon of a rotating black hole is slightly different from a non-rotating black hole and is referred to as the static limit. Inside the static limit, space is dragged by the rotation of the black hole, affecting the movement of objects and light. Accretion disk around a rotating black hole, matter from its surroundings can form an accretion disk. The accretion disk consists of gas, dust, and other debris that is gradually pulled into the black hole due to its strong gravitational force. The material in the accretion disk heats up and emits intense radiation, making it visible to observation. Studying black holes since black holes themselves are invisible. Scientists rely on indirect observations and theoretical models to study them. Some methods used for studying black holes include 1. Observing accretion disks by observing the intense radiation emitted from the accretion disks around black holes, scientists can gather valuable information about the presence and properties of black holes. Different wavelengths of light, such as X-rays and radio waves, provide insights into the behavior and dynamics of matter falling into the black hole. 2. Gravitational waves Gravitational waves are ripples in spacetime caused by the acceleration of massive objects. The detection of gravitational waves from the merger of black holes has provided direct evidence of their existence and has helped to determine their masses and properties. 3. Effects on surrounding objects The gravitational pull of a black hole affects the motion of nearby objects, such as stars or gas clouds. By studying the motion and behavior of these objects, scientists can infer the presence and characteristics of a black hole. 4. Simulations and theoretical models Scientists use computer simulations and theoretical models based on general relativity to understand the formation, behavior, and properties of black holes. These models help to predict and explain various phenomena associated with black holes, such as the dynamics of accretion disks, the emission of jets, and the evolution of black hole mergers. Black holes continue to be a fascinating subject of study in astrophysics and cosmology. Through ongoing research and technological advancements, scientists hope to uncover more secrets about these enigmatic cosmic entities and expand our understanding of the universe.